Well, I guess I can make the next part. Yeah, I didn't expect this to go this well, mostly because it blew up about 4 weeks after I uploaded it. So, I just thought that there was no point in even doing this, but okay. So, essentially, I'm gonna review all Scout exclusive misks. Once again, I need to say that this video is based on another video from Teal Opal, who reviewed all heavy hats and misks. Also, quick little disclaimer, just so you don't get mad at me, that it's my personal opinion, and if you have different opinion on some of the items in this video, then it's perfectly fine. And now let's get into the review because I just hate doing these intros. Essential accessories. Totally not my style, but I think they do fit Scout quite well. Sign of the Wolf School. This item, although it's unnoticeable, it looks very good and gives you a chance to cosplay Geralt from The Witcher and I really enjoy doing cosplays in TF2. Lane's Walker Goggles. I don't really see it fit into any loadout and it's just pretty bad. Bong Boy, it's nice mask most of the time, but I think that it should be worn either in hat style or in no hat style if you have other hats equipped, because otherwise it looks weird for me, especially if normal scout hat and hat equipped clip with each other. Flip flops, at least there are no socks with it, am I right? Anyway, the only real problem with this item is its price. 7 keys for stupid flip flops? Who on earth would buy that? Lucky number 42. I can see Scout wearing beach accessories, especially now that we have Banana Bay, but it has the same exact problem as the previous item. It costs 7 keys. I rest my case. Ball kicking boots. Wasn't Scout baseball fan? Probably, because this doesn't look good on him at all. Stereoscopic shades. I actually quite like the idea for them. I wonder if Scout can aim better thanks to seeing everything in 3D. Bank and Futan Hamun. They are both parts of the mummy set for Scout, and in my personal opinion, it's one of the better Halloween costumes for Scout. Booty time. Okay, this is just straight up trash item. I mean, it doesn't look horrifically bad, but quote, jingle all the way. And you might think, oh yeah, cool, nice funny downside which doesn't change anything. And I'll tell you right here, right now, it actually adds jiggling sound while running. And 1. It makes you easier for enemies to spot while flanking and 2. It is frustrating as hell. And trust me, I know how annoying it is because I once had it. Boston Boombringer. It's alright. It really does fit Scout's personality I think. I could actually see Scout walking with this with volume turned all the way up annoying neighbors. Fast Learner. Not bad, but one thing I don't understand. Why this has become misc for stereotypical scant? Is it because it was the first body cosmetic for Scout? The Linger's Duffel. It looks a bit out of place without Fed fighting Fedora, and I think it's kinda boring overall. Track Terrorizer. Definitely one of the better jackets for Scout, but I think there are also some that are better. Spooky Shoes. These I really don't like, particularly because I think the design is pretty lazy. Voodoo Curse Scout Soul. Ok, so this item changes you into a zombie, which is a cool concept and every class has its own for the cursed soul, but I don't really like zombies and only one I actually like is Demoman's one, because you can cosplay Headless Horse as Headman. Digit Divulger. Even though not very noticeable, it's great addition to a lot of various sets, so I would definitely consider it a good choice. Flight of the Monarch and Flunky Wear. Oh god, Venture Bros set, here we go again. I don't like this set at all, but I gotta say, the Flight of the Monarch is probably the best looking item in it. Tomb Wrapper. Why? Why? Why is this even in the game? Actually, it's not only this. Every single item added with Tomb Raider in 2013 is bad. But this is just straight up stupid. Waste of cosmetic slot and backpack space and only thing I see it useful for is crafting hats. Long Fall Loafers. I actually believe this is a nice item. Kinda unnoticeable, but the fact that you can get it for free by completing achievement in Poker Night 2 makes up for it in my eyes. Bold Boy. This, I think, is the only Robo hat in the game that is better than the original and it looks extremely good on some of the sets. Cheat Sheet. It looks a bit out of place without Beastly Bonnet, but together they are quite good. Big Man on Campus. 
Remember what I said about track terrorizer? Well, this is one of these better jackets as it's pretty much better looking version of it. Caffeine cooler, whole new level of energy drink and radiation addiction. Oh, and yeah, it looks nice I guess. Cool cut cardigan. Another very good looking jacket, which I think personally is probably one of the best ones. I actually find this very nice in old fashioned loadouts. Delinquents down vest. It's not bad, but I think it's also not very good either. Halfpipe hardler. It's not bad I guess. I barely see it in game though, so I don't really have an opinion on it. Flapjack. I think it's a bit overrated and there are other better looking jackets. Face Plante. One of the better looking Halloween exclusive cosmetics and I like this quite a lot. Found Feet, Sprinting Step Halopod and Terrier Trousers. They are bad I think because they all just look extremely weird but that's kinda good for a Halloween item to be honest. Suck full of Smithmas. Only really good in Christmas themed loadouts. Chuckle Nuts. I personally love this. I mean, just look at it. Just look at those lovely little eyes. Isn't it an adorable little squirrel? <laughs> ow, ow, ow! Well, it's not as nice as it looks. Little Drummer Man and Ticket Boy. They both look a bit out of place most of the time, and I personally wouldn't buy either of those. Argyle Ace. It may fit into old fashioned sets, but I do not like it. Paisley Pro. You totally see the difference between Scout wearing this and Scout not wearing any shirt. Red Socks and Saucy Shinobi. On their own, they look pretty mediocre, but if you go full ninja loadout, they do look great. Biomech Backpack and Xeno Suit. Same here, although here you need to go full alien set. Claws and Infect and Crazy Legs. To be honest, going for full set with this isn't always a good idea only to use it with Headhunter for me. I just don't really like this tool and Headhunter can fit into a lot of loadouts, so no need to use this tool with it. Foul Fists and Talon Trotters, the silliest and the worst looking cosmetic set for Scout. Brooklyn Booties. These are easily the single best looking Scout exclusive shoes in my honest opinion. Thermal Tracker. And this is one of the best looking Scout exclusive jackets, especially in winter themed loadouts. Courtier's Collar and Harlequin's Hooves. As much as I like the hat from this set, these two just look extremely out of place in every set I can think of. Button Camons. Extremely similar to Brooklyn Booties, but I personally prefer Brooklyn Booties, and one of the reasons being that Booties can be strange while this can't. Orion's Belt. Not used at all, and I think it makes sense considering how unnoticeable it is. Flak Jack. I'm actually surprised it's the first war themed cosmetic for Scout, and to be honest, it's a very nice one. Cadet Visor. Even though you could argue there are barely any items that go with it, but I still do believe it's a very good looking item on its own. Bark and Breaches. I already said that I don't like pirate themed items, and this one is no exception. Freeing Tracksuit. This in my eyes is just better looking flapjack, mostly because it has this scarf and long sleeves instead of short ones. But backup and crook combatant. When I first saw these two, I thought they were pretty bad, but now I think they create very nice combination. Pong Butters backup. It's pretty good actually, but I personally wouldn't use one of my cosmetic slots for it. Hot Heels. I can see it being used with some of the loadouts, but if I wanted shoes for Scout, I would choose something else. Corti Koiras and Squire's Sabatons. I think they are very underused items, probably because you'll struggle to find anything which goes well with them, but you can use them for night sets or Geralt cosplay. Electric Twanger. It seems like it would have something which would go with it, but turns out there aren't too many items which do. Snowwing. Very good addition to winter sets, especially to runners warm up, and I'm not saying this just because I was donated a strange one. Messenger's Mailbag. I don't know why, but it might just be my favorite backpack item for Scout. Pocket Polling. I hate all those pocket characters items. Only one which I think makes sense is Pocket Medic because, you know, who wouldn't want a Pocket Medic? Well, I guess that with this you can show everyone that Miss Polling is your waifu. Speedster's Spandex. It's extremely bad to be honest, and the fact that you need a lead grade hat to have full set is, I think, kinda ridiculous. Forest Footwear. I think these are one of the best designed boots for Scout to be honest. Transparent Trousers. 
Again, very nice looking item added in Jungle Inferno update, which design I really like. And the last is Jungle Jersey. I just love this item. Even though it's very simple in its design, it might just be my new favorite jacket for Scout, and it definitely deserves to be an assassin grade. Oof, that was way longer than I expected. Now, I wanna do a little announcement, as I'll try to make still his look next. However, I'm gonna try to change editing a bit so it looks better and that means it can take even more time to make and I hope you won't be too mad about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, I suggest checking out my Twitter, Discord, Steam Group and possibly trailing, maybe, please, no? Okay, thanks for watching and see ya next time.